So automating the table saw, part two, fixing the previous fail. This bracket works well. And uh, with some adjustments, I think I got one of the axes sussed. So <clears throat> this is what I ended up with. A couple of ball bearings. Give it proper stability. A motor mount here. And this goes like such. And this entire thing will then tilt with the axis of the screw and this will hold on to the metal part. So earlier we cocked up the design a bit. Let's see if we've managed to decock it. like I need to power up the driver a bit. Other than that, it works pretty much like it's supposed to. Maybe some grease as well. Oil this stuff a bit probably help. Yeah, it looks looks like it's going pretty well actually. Hmm. Not bad. Definitely need to oil it a bit. Turns out that the staggering was because these gears didn't fit properly. They were too tight, so it got caught up in itself on the teeth. It works pretty well. Doesn't matter which way you were. Another thing is I need to get this to stick to the bearings a little bit better. So a little bit of glue in there and uh, we're gonna be okay I think. If I put it there it works perfectly fine. And the other way. Ooh. Perfectly fine. I'm gonna have to dig around with the speed a bit. I can already tell that I'm probably gonna need a counterweight once I tip this over and you get the weight. It has to lift the weight of it. I also need to adjust the motor so that I get uh, the full torque out of it. But uh, that's it. The success. It works like hell. Now we're gonna go over to the side axis and see if we can get that, that to work in uh, the better version. That's cool. That is just cool. Now it <clears throat> turns out that the staggering wasn't my uh, non-existent programming skills or anything like that. It was um, the current and the voltage was a little bit too low on the motor. I hadn't adjusted uh, it correctly. The second was that the gear actually went too far in. This gear was a little bit too large compared to this one. So it would not be able to exit cleanly at the back like that. So it would actually lock up and that would give me the staggering. So acetone vapored the hell out of uh, this and this and cut it down a little bit. The new version I uploaded is uh, already adjusted for this so you should be able to use it without uh, having to do run it through acetyl vapor but that's basically it one of the axes works fine 
Now I'm going to take the other axis and see what I can do with that.